5 p.m. today marked the beginning of the fourth consecutive no-movement weekend. Inspector Trevor Rodney is reminding the general public to respect the curfew implemented to safeguard lives and livelihoods. And folks also from our intelligence that the curfew on, on Friday starts at 5 p.m. And I emphasize 5 p.m. We're still seeing people at 5 p.m. looking to get transport to go home, standing by the road looking for that. At that point when the curfew starts, you are violating the law. And that is something that we want to emphasize. You, you, we're asking you to observe. You, now is the time has to self-discipline, self-management. You know the curfew starts at five. Ensure that all your business, you get it done before that time and, and stay in your place of residence, except you're exempted by the law to be out after the time being. Last weekend, the police encountered some obstructions in the rural areas of the country. Some people are taking chances, and, and, and especially in the rural areas, they're taking a little chance. Um, I think they, they're taking a little chance because somehow they, they in their mind, they think, um, let me tell you what, what I feel from my own observation. They think, I don't think the police would start to patrol at 6, for instance. I think they would start nine because they passed nine last week so i could open until about six seven but it'll pass in that time it's not a matter of when the police is passing or when the police start so the operation is a matter of you obeying what the law says for your own good and for the good of others and essentially for the good of the nation so this um sort of cat and mouse behavior that is certainly gonna gonna put us in in, in not in a good place. Inspector Rodney's warning against a repeat of this act. Some business places were found on the other side of the law as they sought to outsmart the lawmen. We had some challenges in the execution of our duty. On two occasions, we had the road uh, being blocked with, with barrels and, and, and other objects. And that, again, we're calling on the public and those violators, those who have violated Please desist from these actions. These actions, they are unlawful and they are jeopardizing both yourselves and, and, and law enforcement. And so we are asking you to desist from such practices. No decision has been announced publicly about what restrictions will apply for next week, meaning no certainty if no movement weekends will continue. Sherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.